Tonight, the makers of these dangerous guardrails tied to deaths across the country will have to pay out millions after a jury found the company cut corners that jeopardized your safety. This is a story that Team 10 was first to expose in San Diego. And Tenders reporter Rachel Bianco joins us live on this story now. Rachel, the whistleblower in this case says this fight is far from over. Steve, Josh Harmon traveled across the country inspecting these guardrails. He wants the faulty ones removed, and he says today's legal victory is just another step in making that happen. The ET Plus guardrail is on highways across the country. This ABC News virtual view shows how they're supposed to work. You can see the rail peeling or curling to the side on impact. A Team 10 investigation revealed Dallas-based Trinity Industries made the rails smaller years ago. The feeder chute was decreased from 5 inches to 4. Whistleblower Josh Harmon called it a fatal flaw and sued the company. The jury has sent the message and it's loud and clear. They committed fraud. Monday afternoon, the jury found the company made money-saving changes without telling the Federal Highway Administration. These crash test videos were shown in court. One after another, the guardrails failed. In other crashes, the guardrail pierces the car and the people inside. Deanna Allen lost her right leg. If they had done what they were supposed to do, I'd have two legs and I'd be walking normal and have my life back. The law calls for the damages to be tripled, meaning after attorney fees and other penalties, Trinity could end up owing more than $800 million. Harmon says his fight won't end until all of these guardrails are gone. I got two young girls who are going to be driving. Hopefully I'll have that product recall accomplished. <laughs> Now, four states have suspended the use of the guardrails. The company says it will appeal. Reporting live in central San Diego, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.